Hi, hello, and welcome to Pace Rewind, everyone. I'm Ryan Shields. And I'm Katie Healy. It's time to take a look at last week's highlights. Women's soccer taking on St. Michael's and a historic moment as Sarah Bendel misses off the crossbar. But Jillian Farrow drives home her 10th goal for the season and the 26th of her career, breaking the pace record. Off the Purple Knights turnover, it's Carol Alfonsi with the drive, off the fingertips of the St. Michael's keeper to make it 2-0. Earlier in the match, Bendel again, off the feed from Farrow, touches home her second goal of the season to make it 1-0 pace. Second half action on the penalty kick, Alyssa Zioli knocks home her 15th goal of the season, extending her own setter's record. Finally, it's Farrow again, beating the keeper on the near post. Pace ends their regular season on a good note and clinches a postseason berth for the first time since 2011. For their efforts this season, four women's soccer players were named to the Northeast 10 all-conference teams. Senior midfielder Jillian Farrow and sophomore forward Alyssa Zioli were named to the NE10 first team, marking just the fourth and fifth team representatives in program history. Only Rhea Carroll, 2002 and 2003, and Josh and Durando, 2006, have been voted to this honor in a setter's uniform. Sophomore Teresa Fultino was voted in a third team defender, and freshman Sarah Bendel was recognized on the all-rookie team. For Farrow, it is her third selection to an all-conference squad, earning second team honors as a freshman in 2011 and third team honors in 2012. She has rewritten the pace record books this season, establishing program records for goals 27 and points 86, while ranking tied for fifth with 14 assists. Zuli is a first-time all-conference performer, following her breakout season in which she set the pace record for single-season goals with 15 and points with 33. Those totals are good for second in the conference in both categories. Her biggest output came on October 4th with a four-goal outburst against Bentley that tied a program record for goals in a single game. Fotino is also a first-time all-conference performer. She anchored a back line for the setters that allowed just eight goals in their last nine regular season games and recorded six shutouts on the season. During the nine-game span, Fotino was keyed in helping Pace earn a 7-2-0 record guiding them into the postseason. Bendel was named to the all-rookie team after scoring two goals while assisting on three others. She tallied her first career goal and an assist in a 7-0 victory against Bloomfield on October 13th and scored the game winner against St. Michael's on November 1st. Women's volleyball took on the Stonehill Skyhawks on Saturday. Junior Rebecca Italiano set her season high in digs recording 29. To begin the match, dig by Rebecca Italiano, set by Mickey Carver, which led to the kill by Sydney Lecker. Dig by Alyssa Marchino, set by Mickey Carver, which again led to the kill by Lecker. Dig by Italiano, set by Carver, to the kill by Lecker. After a thrilling game, the setters fell to the Skyhawks in five sets. Pace football took on the New Haven Chargers at home on Saturday afternoon. First half action, Jameer G takes the kickoff, finds a seam and races his way down the sideline for 48 yards into the New Haven territory. G again, this time on defense. The Chargers complete the pass, but G brings down the receiver behind the line for a loss on the play. Finally, off the setter's kickoff, Roman forces the fumble to break up the play for New Haven. Pace University men and women swimming and diving team had their first home try meet on Friday. The Pace University women's swimming and diving team was impressive in their first home meet of the season. The setters earned a pair of victories in the tri-meet as they defeated York College 138-43 and Queens College 129-82. Pace earned a first place finish in the opening event of the meet, the 200-yard medley relay. Sophomores Paula Costablanco and Colleen Carroll teamed up with freshmen Sam Dexter and Katie Scarlett Lachlan to record a final time of 157-49. The men's team went 1-1 one one in their first home meet of the season. Pace earned a 95-61 victory over York College while getting defeated by the visiting Knights of Queens College, 119-69. The setters started hot out of the gate, earning a top finish in their first event, the 200-yard medley relay. Freshman Brian Sosa, Jacob Wendowski, and Robert O'Gorman swam alongside sophomore Dominic McNano to earn a top finish, 145-35. Recently, Pace University teamed up with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to grant a wish for a Pace University student dealing with a life-threatening illness. Ryan Shields reports. Pleasantville, New York, home of Pace University's Athletic Department, which last summer granted Robert Jones, or Bo for short, a special wish. In 2009, 
I was diagnosed with medulloblastoma, which is a type of brain cancer. While in the hospital, Bo found himself rapidly losing the strength within himself to walk or carry out any mobile function. So that's why I wanted to get help. Wanted to get healthy in terms of like being able to move better and um, get have more better balance. And this is when Make a Wish Foundation of the Hudson Valley stepped in. So our mission is to grant the wishes of children with life-threatening medical conditions, and that's what we do here at the Hudson Valley chapter. So Bo knew what he wanted, and he did want a physical fitness, a training plan at Pace University Athletics. So he was really specific that he wanted to do his wish at Pace, um, which was pretty cool. And I hadn't worked with Pace before. I've done similar wishes before, but not with Pace. I always have to check with the child's physician that their wish is appropriate because um, we want everything to be safe. We need the doctor's permission. Bo's doctor did, which was great. So from then I reached out to Pace and I spoke with um, Zach Dayton there and he really helped me. We kind of developed, okay, what does really, uh, what does Bo really want out of his wish? And then he put me in touch with Mike Bolander, who ended up training Bo, working with him for a year, and we thought that it was pretty cool. I know Bo did. Well, typically, we started slow. Um, when I first, uh, when we first started meeting, Bo was at, um, you know, and, and he'll attest to that, you know, he wasn't in a great state as far as his balance goes, a lot of uh, the, the motor coordination things. So we started very basic with just some, you know, dynamic warm-ups and uh, just some, you know, really uh, basic movements. We learned some new movement patterns and, and started, you know, getting getting better with that. That was probably the first two months. Um, following that, we kind of hit the ground running and, um, you know, based everything off of the core, uh, the hip, uh, that region, because it's involved in pretty much all the movements that we make. So by strengthening that, you know, we can you know, we can start strengthening everything else. I hope my future is like um, where I would be going to the gym annually, but um, I, I, I know that um, I'm not always going to be able to see Bo, but um, I hope I'll be able to uh, carry over some of the workouts that we do together. That's going to do it for us this week. Thanks to everybody involved in Pace Rewind. I'm Ryan Shields. And I'm Katie Healy. Thanks for watching. Catch you next week.